<laughs> what up, fools? What's what up, fools? <laughs> uh, welcome, Foolish Nation, to Foolosophy. Philosophy. <laughs> we said a jinx, Obi a soda. <laughs> All right, that was so stupid. <laughs> I'm Marcus, and I'm Dan. <laughs> and today we we uh, we got a we got a uh, a giant episode for you. Yeah, we got a. a, a Pretty large episode. Pretty yeah. massive, massive episode. Yeah, uh, we are discussing uh, the life and times and death of uh, La Parquita and Expetrito Dos. Yes. I might have said that right. Uh, I should I should know how to say that right. I'm we should half sp- Spanish, but yeah, phone a Hispanic <laughs> friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they just curse me out in Spanish. Yeah, you know? yeah. I was just here like maricon. And- I love a. Uh, I have I had a lot of Mexican friends in San Diego, and they would uh, they do the same thing that Italians are guilty of, where they over pronunciate like their like a uh, jalapeno. They oh, would say like uh, I would be like, oh yeah, I love getting like nachos with jalapenos, and they go, oh you mean jalapeno? Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, turned, I don't mind that so they much. They turn into like a smoky masked man. <laughs> I, I, jalapeno. I, I, I don't mind it too much. It's just when they correct you. My, yeah. w- when they correct you, because I'm like, I don't correct your English speaking. You know what I mean, <laughs> I don't do that to people w- that speak another language or their first language is another language. Yeah, yeah. So I don't like when they do that. Like, no, this, how, this is how you say. It. I'm like, yeah, but you have also fucked up like 17 words in my presence. You know, <laughs> I'm I've never. With it. <laughs> oh, it's a. It's I know fr- what you mean. <laughs> yeah, it's it's frustrating, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, the the pun the the uh, the inside joke was the uh, the large aspect because uh. La Parquita and Espetrito Dos are were uh, uh, little people. I don't luchador know if we're not, little people. Little people. I, we're using the word little people. Little I'm, luchadors. I'm not sure if the M word is allowed. In Luchaditos. Certain, yeah. Much, <laughs> much, I don't know if that's a word. Yeah. We just making up words here. Yeah. It's, uh, but they uh, actually there's a term for it. Uh, mini luchadors. They're called the uh, mini Estrella. Were they a tag team? Uh yeah they they tagged they okay. tagged team they also they also wrestled individually, uh but they were uh because uh when they tagged when they tagged uh tag team they were uh originally it was uh Espetrita and Expetrita Dos that's okay. why one and two oh so there was a first one yeah but then the one brother did, uh picked up the game of the Black Parquita which is a uh mini luchador version of a full-size wrestler named La Parca, who's a widely known wrestler. He wrestled for New Japan. He wrestled for AAA, which is the Mexican, uh, big Mexican organization. He wrestled for WCW. Uh, I'm not sure if they brought him in for when, when WCW got bought out by WWF or WWE, whatever. Yeah. I don't think they brought him in, but he's, the, he was the mini version of that wrestler yeah uh that wrestler was his nickname was chairman of the board because he used to bring a chair and play the chair like a fucking guitar oh that's so funny <laughs> yeah he was a fun he was a, he was he, he he uh the gimmick was like skeleton like a, almost like dia de muerte the oh, okay. day of the dead yeah, style yeah. skeleton outfit it's cool he's, nice. he was a good that's wrestler awesome. too but he was like fun chairman of the board coming in here bring a damn chair like to start playing like a guitar and he would use it in the matches and shit too sometimes Nice. Um, but not like in the way you think he would like prop it up and then do like run and do a flip off of it oh. over the ropes and shit. Like he'd like stand on the back and drop down. Like, yeah, in, in was, living it... color fly girls. <laughs> <laughs> How you living? Boy? How you living? Boy? You're living color. You DJS one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That honestly, uh, this one, we're, we're, we're going off tangent, but like, Honestly, a living color I think might be pound for pound the most successful alumni. Oh yeah, almost it's, every alumnus from there uh, went on to huge do huge things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, I, I mean, really considering how it. small the cast was comparatively to like SNL throughout the years. And, yeah, yeah. I used to watch that and SNL growing up, and I used to love. There were certain uh, in living color sketches that are just so, so incredible. So funny, like uh, much funnier than SNL. SNL had uh, great ones too, of course. But like, yeah, you would see shit out on Living Color that was like you you wouldn't see. Oh, I think it, I think it was the writing because the writers were different. The writing were the writers were the Waynes. Yeah, the yeah. Waynes. So I and guess so, it was from more of that angle. Yeah. Um, you got a little more like a different view, you know. 
Yeah, they, and also they were. And then on, early Jim Carrey is like fucking unbelievable. Yeah, early Jim Carrey, and also they were on early James Fox. James Carrey, is, he's credited. Yeah, James Carrey, and they were also on Fox when it just started. Yeah, yeah. So there was a lot of freedom, like the the like uh, like they took a chance with The Simpsons, you know. Yeah. They took a chance with In Living Color, so it was like bold and new. It, they they weren't held back by like, oh, we got these sponsors because well, NBC's been around at that point since the sixties or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I don't know. Weird. Massive tangent. Yeah, massive off. T- <laughs> <laughs> All right, back um, back to La Parquita. La and, Parquita and uh, and es- the little Espetrito dos. dos. Yeah. Uh, their brothers uh, is Alberto and Alejandro Jimenez. They're twins, actually. Twin brothers. Twin brothers. Twin dwarfies. Uh, that's a that sounds <laughs> that sounds more <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> that sounds more fucked up than the M word, dwarfies. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I don't um, know what's offensive anymore. Yeah, I don't either. I've never heard that. I've never heard um, dwarfies before. But uh, uh, Alejandro uh, Jimenez, aka La Parquita, he also wrestled for WWE. He he was he was the more known of the two. Yeah, uh, he wrestled uh, internationally as La Parquita because the 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 full size counterpart that he was uh, portraying was. Also very popular. Oh, so cool. he traveled, you know, sometimes they would actually do matches together. Mm. La Parca and La Parquita would do matches together. Yeah. Also, he wrestled in WWF La Parquita as like an angle. out of his mouth. <laughs> like, like an alien. <laughs> <laughs> like a little alien. <laughs> That's hilarious. Or he came out of his chest like yeah, a little yeah. chest burster. Chest <laughs> yeah. <just. laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Uh, he also wrestled... Uh, it, there was an angle uh, where they had mini versions of the WWF wrestlers. So they had Mini Vader, but they also had Mini Mankind. La Parquita was also known as Mini Mankind. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, little, 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 uh, maybe Mick Foley, you know, like. A <laughs> 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 he, a, I don't know if you remember Mankind uh, used to do an angle. or he, uh, Our Mankind had a. Uh, Mick Foley had a, a thing where he had like the sock. Was, yeah, was, I would love for him to do sock, but it's like a baby sock. Yeah, a little kid sock. <laughs> it's Os- got like the little. Fr- it's got like a little fringe around the ankle. Yeah, it's it's, it's a, a little dinosaur. <laughs> you know? Little skirt. Oshkosh bagosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, um, but yeah, they're very popular. Travel all over the place, uh, but they also had a pension for partying. Oh, they had a pension for partying, and that is what led to their death. That's okay. This is another one that was like we did with the Ricky Dozen episode, um, where there's a widely told version, yeah, and then there's the conspiracy theory version. Mm. And also, I'm reading is this story also may have ties to some type of crime syndicate. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So so okay. So basically, the brothers were popular wrestlers. They're getting around, but then they also apparently. Get around. Uh, mm. They had a pension for hookers. They like the, like the <laughs> that story the, of the two midgets in the hotel uh, hotel room next to each other. That that joke. That's about these two. This, yeah, this is prob. Yeah, this, uh, very much likely the Norm Macdonald joke. Yeah. Oh, this is. Oh wait. Oh, I, I don't. I'm not familiar with that one. You know what? I mean? No. Um, yeah, this is probably what this is about because uh, I'm not gonna re- I'm not gonna retell it, but just <laughs> Google Norm Macdonald uh, midget sex joke. <laughs> Okay, they're not called midgets. They're called oh, dwarfies. I'm sorry, dwarfies. dwarfies. <laughs> Google Norm Macdonald dwarfies. <laughs> no, you're just naming the name of the episode. But Norm, Norm Macdonald joke. <laughs> Both of those are obviously uh, fucked up. <laughs> midgets and dwarfies. That's yeah, too much. I'm gonna get punched in the balls. Uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to say it like that because yeah. that was something. Like, yeah, because that's all they could punch at. Um, no. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Okay. I actually got punched by a little person once in high school, and he punched me in the face, but he had to jump. <laughs> this is this is so unintentionally fucked up. But it's, it's, you just tell the story. You're keeping a straight face. Your <laughs> your poker face is amazing right now. No, no, it's true that that actually happened. Oh no, no, I I believe you. Yeah. But to me, who wasn't the one that got punched in the face, the sheer visual of a dwarf. Uh, yeah. LeBron James ain't gonna punch at you. Oh yeah, yeah. He's Super Mario, like like he was oh, knocking shit. a coin, you know. Ba-ding. Oh, 
Dude, okay. if if he punched a you and quarters came out of you, <laughs> <laughs> like Sonic's rings. <laughs> no, because he because he had to jump. Um, he had no base to him, so it felt like someone, like someone being like, "Right on, champ!" Like giving you like a, oh you God. know, like a like a like an affectionate fist nudge, like "Atta boy," like an "Atta boy." So he jumped and he hit me, but it was just like, a, and so I started laughing at him, and it, it was he went for uh, the scissors in the health kit. He was the manager of the football team. And I was playing football, and he was trying to corral everyone in, and I made a off-colored remark at him, and he 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 went at me. Oh, so he was like a border collie trying to round up a bunch of horses. He was just he was just like a, he was a well-known figure in our town. Yeah, and he was the ma- he was the quote-unquote manager. Uh, he would like help out with the football team, so he would like carry the medical box out, you know, and hang out. Oh shit. And uh, he was but you, cool, but you just exposed that this guy's uppercut <laughs> from a I jump just felt like a high five. <laughs> I just caught chin. him on the wrong day or whatever. I was oh. a smart ass, so uh, okay, yeah, you know. that's funny. Uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, so. yeah. I, I have a, I have a, a couple of friends that are um, dwarfs. Uh, they'd probably be pissed off that it, uh, this episode has gone the way it has. <laughs> yeah, um, a very very talented. Uh, they're pretty, they're pretty cool. Some dwarves have like a chip on their shoulder, which is understandable, you know, because yeah, because someone's just eating chips above them. Sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. This is. I don't know if we can release this episode. <laughs> yeah, we might have to do it like a in, uh like this a, is like a, a pa- precursor. This is a Patreon episode. Yeah, this. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have to start a Patreon just for this. Yeah, episode. just for this episode for yeah. the, to be released. <laughs> um, no, I mean, but these apparently these guys they were they were known and they got around. They were like if they were dwarves, uh, they were like the Brad Williams of dwarves. Yeah, yeah, like cool and like gets laid a yeah, lot. Yeah, you know? just I've heard some stories about Brad Williams it. before he before he settled down. I heard some stories about Brad Williams uh, getting around. You yeah, know? man, he was all over the place. <laughs> so, um, all right. So uh, one Sunday night, they checked into a hotel with two female prostitutes. Right, they were gonna have a good old time. Well, these these ladies were involved in a group called La Filtration. So, which huh. the filtra- the filtration? La Filtration. La Filtration. Yeah. La, La Filtration. I, I don't know why I'm emphasizing it that way, but the, the, La Filtration is uh, I, that's the name of the group. Yeah. Which roughly translates to the filtration. <laughs> <laughs> that's a shitty organized crime name. Yeah, that's not. I don't know. Um, but it, it was We're going to make your water taste so good. <laughs> <laughs> you did, I get your water, man. <laughs> your water tastes so good when I'm done with it. 99% pure de free. <laughs> now take out all the free radicals. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking reverse osmosis, Holmes. <laughs> Fuck Fiji. Is this offensive? <laughs> this is totally offensive. Oh my god. Well, everything funny is offensive. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to be funny without being uh, offensive. No, we it's not really offensive. We're just It's we're not just, just affectionate. We're, yeah, we're we're just doing the stereotypes of, it's of just what, water what a, uh, jokes. What a organized crime group yeah. in Mexico that smuggles water. This story <laughs> happens to take place in Mexico. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> the La Filtration. La Filtration. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and they're and they're uh, <laughs> they're rivals, the Brita. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so basically, the mo for La Filtration was they were a group of like ladies. Uh, you know, prostitution is not an easy game. No, and so they have to look out for one another. And so one of the things, um. One of the things is uh, they would do, they would uh, drug men using eye drops. Oh. Huh? Yeah. Uh, if you uh, basically. Like it, Rufium? Basically, yeah. But there's a certain there's a certain level of eye drops you put in a person drink. It knocks you out. I didn't know that until I read this story. Mm. Uh, but the problem is. Oh, just like actual eye drops? Yeah. Yeah. Eye drops mixed with alcohol. 
Oh. I didn't know that was a thing. Huh. And uh, good, I mean, I guess a good thing our, our, our podcast isn't super widely known because it would be a bunch of people <laughs> drugging each other. Just taking each other out. Yeah. yeah take, well, that's what ki- ultimately killed them is the thing is uh, the concoction of eye drops and alcohol that they would pour in men's drinks were for regular, regular, Size regular men. men. <laughs> oh, so they gave them like a lethal dose of eye drops? <laughs> yes. Wow. They must have had really white eyes. <laughs> But they weren't red. <laughs> Clear eyes is awesome. Clear, uh, ben Stein shows up. You're dead. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do Ben Stein. I wish I could. I read this <laughs> article wrong, or real quickly. It, it was it, just it, an advertisement for no. I read it, drops. The, the statement, the sentence I was reading: the Jimenez twins died from the drugs, and it, the rest of the sentence is added to their drinks. But I read it is the Jimenez twins died from the drugs added to their dinks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny to me, but yeah. Um, so they put eye drops in um, wedding crashers. The one guy puts. Uh, it also Owen has Wilson a laxative put, effect too. Yeah, Owen Wilson puts um, I visine in. What is it, Bradley Cooper? Where the bad guy? Uh, yeah, it was Bradley Cooper. He was the, that douchebag frat boy, yeah. uh, boyfriend. Or Owen whatever. Wilson puts like eye drop visine in the, his drink at dinner, and then he gets sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's funny. So that's a, that's what killed him. Yeah, it, uh, that's what killed him. It was a uh, basically too much of a dosage because it was it was. They gave they gave La Parquita the, the dose meant for La Parca. Uh, it, they gave him the Bradley Cooper dose. <laughs> the Bradley Cooper dose. Yeah, man. So you could a certain amount of eye drops, and you have a comedy. And a and star was born. If you do more, they have a murder. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I mean, yeah. So basically, um, they tracked the women down uh, using cell phone. Cell phone technology, because uh, they got the what fuck out. What year was this that they? Two thousand nine. Oh, so 2009. Oh, okay. Yeah, wasn't that? Wasn't that, I mean, now when we get thinking about it, fuck, holy shit. Well, yeah, eleven years. Fuck, man, that's that's throwing me off. That's making me feel old as fuck. Um. Yeah, there was. A, yeah, they were part of the love filtration. Um, they tracked the ladies down using the, uh, cell phones. Uh, they were they found guilty. And sentenced to forty-seven years in prison, and I saw a picture of one of the, supposedly one of the prostitutes. Whew! I don't know what passes for a prostitute in Mexico. <laughs> but you're saying she's not a looker? I don't know if I would pay for sex. She would owe me money. <laughs> like it was like it, I've been on a drought. <laughs> it's fucking, it was pretty brutal. Wow. Um, but I, I mean, my thing is, uh, they're 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 paid for. Other things in her looks, so maybe she was just especially skilled at the things that she yeah. did. I don't know, uh, but yeah, forty-seven years. Um, so yeah, the, basically, uh, they died partying, like <laughs> yeah, like so many wrestlers do. Yeah, like just partying. Well, I mean, when you think about it, like, like it's it, the aura of it that sounds cool, like in general. But then you factor in that they were both dwarf twins. Yeah. You know, you have a party with hookers. <laughs> sounds pretty cool. That sounds pretty Ric Flairish, man. It right is, there. yeah. It's yeah. it's it's a they wrestlers have such an extravagant lifestyle. Wait, so that's the that's the accepted version. What's the conspiracy theory? Okay, um, I'm trying to the, the yeah that's the that's the that's the version that went the, to court and everything went accepted. to the news. Uh, the conspiracy theory is. That um, and this, they like Jerry Springer apparently covered this uh, a story, uh, but they, when he covered this, uh, what came to light was Alberto, which is Alberto is Expectro. Uh, oh, uh, La Parquita. No, no, no. Expectito. Um, no, Alberto. Alberto was La Parquita. He also was getting involved in local government. Hmm. He was he was he was like he basically wanted to be a, in in Mexico and you know how it's very it's very touch and go with the politicians and the local government and the crime syndicates and yeah, stuff it's extremely corrupt uh, very corrupt and so the conspiracy theory is that uh, 
that they had intended to do, you know, buying hookers and, and having a fun time. Yeah. But when they found out who the clients were, they sent these particular ladies to basically uh like it was intentional. intentional the amount yeah, the yeah. amount they gave them was intentional. Gotcha. So they, like, like a, a hit. Like a hit, basically. Yeah. And they ended up getting caught and you know, uh and so the, the unfortunately the, these two prostitutes were the, the fall women for the hit. Is is um. is a like a kind of a like a and it, they're not even sure if it was it was a crime scene, like a cartel or anything like that they think it was like a rival politician. Oh, OK. Yeah. Like a rival politician. I see that. And so uh, which probably explains the the hookers because. Yeah, they were. They, they were cheap. Well, they was like, looked I don't old to... as fuck. Um, they looked old and and like like life was rough. They're just like the government people's wives. <laughs> yeah. So that makes sense. Like uh, maybe I, the, the, like. That's the uh, that's the I've seen like one or two stories of that where like that's the the the, uh, the conspiracy theory it was that their original plans were to buy two hookers have a fun time and that be that when they found out who the clientele were uh, especially Alejandro no yeah Alejandro uh, La Perquita uh, that one of the rival politicians or maybe maybe a, a cartel that he was involved in or whatever the case is. Uh, got in touch with La Filtration and uh, sent you know their fucking worst <laughs> because like it makes sense though because if you're gonna send someone to take the fall yeah you're not gonna send a young pros- hot prospect prostitute yeah, who can make yeah. you a bunch of money you're gonna send Betty Jane who's seen better yeah, days ready to, uh, ready to I'm ready to go yeah. I'm ready what I get free housing oh, <laughs> shit me this is great I've been living in this Volkswagen that we make here um, okay that was fucked up <laughs> <laughs> man <laughs> we need to get a bell like Opie and Anthony back oh, in the day whenever for- we do something offensive we ring it yeah yeah, it would only be more fitting that the dogs that you have barking at were chihuahuas. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh man! This, this is a forbidden episode. Yeah, we're <laughs> yeah we're gonna we're gonna have to do like a, a preface on this one. <laughs> I'm telling you, we start a Patreon, and uh, this will be a, yeah, the this, first yeah. Patreon episode. Yeah, every 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 uh, this would be what our maybe our fifteenth episode now. Every yeah. fifteen episodes is just a. The forbidden fruit, yeah, yeah. <laughs> forbidden fruit, just mm, the... forbidden episode. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's the that's the the uh, I would say widely accepted, but the kind of like both of these, the last two episodes we did, I'm leaning towards a conspiracy. Yeah, well, all I mean, a lot of a lot of we talked about is conspiracy theories. Bruce Brody, um, Bruce Brody, they said it was just an altercation, yeah. and and and. Uh, um uh I can't remember I can't remember his name. But the guy that stabbed him uh was in self defense. Right, yeah. But it, it turned out it was probably you know, he just, yeah, just wa- a- he wanted to eliminate the competition because he knew that uh, he was trying to buy out the organization. Um and Dino Bravo's was pretty obvious. Um the f- even a Montreal screw job. I mean that was a that was a conspiracy theory. Because Vince was tired yeah. of seeing his belts going to the or the the competition get dropped in trash cans on live TV, <laughs> you know what I mean? So Man. I mean, instead of instead of getting stabbed with a uh, piss soaked knife or getting eye dropped to death, you know, uh, they uh, they decided to, I don't know, just reverse the sharpshooter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that sounds pretty tame in comparison, but but yeah, yeah it's so, just getting wilder and wilder. Yeah. And uh, I mean, but that's this. Is, I mean, the one thing, and this is kind of like the death of uh, Kefe, is just being cognizant of your fame. Mm. You know, once you once you get a, once you once you get established, man, you got to be careful. You know, that's right. you got to be very careful because um, your life's not the same anymore. You can't just go and get two hookers from La Filtration on, on a Sunday night. You know, yeah, you, you got to be careful. They'll they'll, they'll wedding crash. They'll yeah. fucking. <laughs> <laughs> clear eyes you to Jesus, you know, <laughs> it's like it's terrible, you know, and like, I don't know. I don't know if I like that. Like we were both in, in, you know, involved, have been involved in entertainment and, you know, you more heavily in the past, but like we're, we're doing a podcast. Like, so that's like, hypothetically, let's say this takes off. That's something we have to be 
cognizant. I can't just go buy old hookers anymore. You know, it's okay. Yeah, you got to get quality ones. You got to get someone quali- takes your picture. Yeah, no, but and, and I don't know. That's I mean, that's another thing. Is like, you know, that like. I guess rappers deal with it all the time when the you know, like the entourage gets too big or like MC Hammer. Yeah, he 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 went broke because yeah, he had too broke. many people. Give me, give me, give me! I yeah, want some man. of that money. Yeah, yeah. No, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's something to think about. You know. Yeah, <laughs> but it sucks though. That's the way these two guys ended because I was reading like just just like what they did, what they accomplished for being dwarfs, for yeah. being. Uh, I mean, they traveled all over the world. One brother more so than the other one, because uh, he he was involved in like the WWE. Plus, his gimmick was tied to La Parker, who's like I said was very popular. And it's it sucks that this is how all these these guys have ended. You yeah, is like that like all that work. You know, I've 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 been in the ring a couple times and I've taken a bump. You know, flat backed it and like or elbow dropped and stuff, and just like all that work that you put on your body. You know, and like just to die in such fucking horrible ways. Yeah, you know, I mean, horrific. Like, yeah, it's a, it's like a waste. You know, it's such a waste. Yeah, uh, but it's crazy how these worlds like kind of collide, wrestling in these like underworlds, and yeah, you know, they whether mob or some kind of crime syndicate. You know, yeah, it's be a common theme. Fucking little, uh, in the secrets, in the shadows. Yeah. Kind of goes hand in hand, you know. Like it's a, like trying to keep protect the business, yeah. you know. And that's that that's a that's a mantra with the mob or any of these like cartels or crimes, you know. And then I I honestly this story is kind of weird. I almost feel bad for the hookers, the ones that took the <laughs> fall. Yeah, because it's yeah. like because I mean, uh, even if it wasn't the conspiracy theory aspect, it's still just like, you know, just Rosa who's just. She's trying to earn a quick buck with a suck, you know? And, yeah, yeah. You know, no, but actually they they got it was coming because like the widely accepted version was they were involved with, a, I, I think, I know I skipped something. I skipped something. Uh, the widely accepted version was they were involved with that La Filtration group and they drugged them to rob them. Oh, okay. That's what it was. I was like, what? I'm skipping something here. I can't remember what I've skipped. Yeah, yeah. Is they, they drugged them to rob them. So I don't really feel so bad now. Um, yeah. Uh, but if it was the other one, the other conspiracy theory, then I kind of feel bad because it's like, you know. Yeah, then they're set up. Yeah, they're set up. It's you like know. those dudes who got arrested for uh, um, Michael Jordan's dad's murder. Yeah, because of you his know, gambling they, debts and shit. Yeah, they yeah. like arrested him and said it was a robbery. But yeah. his body was like professionally mob hidden. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it was like definitely a mob hit and they blamed it on uh, two people. But knowing that though, this is this we're gonna go into a little bit. Con- knowing that is why whenever people have that conversation about who's the greatest of all time, yeah, LeBron or Kobe or like, or uh, Michael Jordan, I'm like my thing is, I go for overall character, you know what you did on on the court, but what you did off the court, you know. Yeah. So Kobe, unfortunately, he's a sullied with this little rape allegation stuff to me, uh, and then. Michael Jordan can't possibly be the goat when he might have got his dad's stuff because of his gambling debts. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So you put you you uh, you do uh, you consider the artist along with the art? I I'm I'm kind of that way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I believe that there's there's forgiveness to be had, but like uh, overall, I always choose like true character. Yeah, you know, like right now, like there's some people that may consider me like a nice guy, but I've done some god awful things. So if there's a if there's a fun, equally funny person who also is just more pure of heart, yeah, and that's who they who they root for, then I have no problem with that. Yeah, yeah, that's just, I'm I'm very weird like that. I don't know. It's just very strange. Like yeah. I like for example, if I, if I meet a famous person or like another comic or a wrestler, mm-hmm. and then I find out they're a piece of shit or they're rude to me. I, that's it. That's I can never enjoy that anymore. Yeah, yeah. I'm just weird like that. Yeah, no, I totally get that. You know. Yeah, that's why I enjoy Prince off. more than I enjoy Michael Jackson. Because <laughs> yeah. I, I, there's not, there's, I don't, I can't recall there's any. There's no uh, allegations or Prince. any, or any really such bad. He was just really cool. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So, <clears throat> so yeah. So, so LeBron will. I don't care. Stats be damned. He'll always be the better of the three because. 
you know, LeBron only helped build his communities. You know, he yeah. stayed with his high school sweetheart the whole time. There's no cheating allegations. He doesn't have kids from another relationship. There's none of that. There's nothing. No, yeah, I mean, he seems like just a, pure a role dude. model and pure ability. Yeah. So, I mean, I know the stats He's like will a be superhero. Yeah, I mean, even though I'm a Knicks fan, it makes me uh, sick to say. <laughs> Goddamn. Yeah, hey, I respect Patrick Ewing more than I expect. Respect the. Uh, oh, yeah, Patrick Ewing is a warrior. Yeah. Goddamn Hakeem Olajuwon, so good. Yeah. All okay. right. Uh, <laughs> 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 it, was, it was. It was amazing. The dream. Yeah. Um, I used to own his Spalding sneakers. Nice. That was my favorite thing about Hakeem Olajuwon. We're, we're going way off tangent, but who the fuck cares? Uh, the, what was a. Uh, uh, Kim Halaj one had a, a shoe deal with Spalding, so you can oh, yeah. get you can get the dreams from Kmart. My grandma used to work at Kmart. I had all the colorways. Yeah, I had all the Kim Halaj ones, and it was the greatest thing ever because it was like kids wanted to make fun of me because I'm wearing Spaldings, but I'm like, oh fuck, those are the Hakeems. Uh, there's a loophole in the, in the poor guy <laughs> it, it being poor. <laughs> there was a loophole, you know. That's awesome. Yeah, it was Spalding cool. Spalding I remember that. It it worked. It worked well until one time. Uh, apparently, there was a pink and purple colorway for ladies. Mm. And my grandma didn't know that and bought them for me. <laughs> and my mom was like, just wear them you to school. To. Just wear them yeah. to school one day. And I got picked on relentlessly yeah. that day. Uh, yeah. That, that was a day loophole. Marcus learned to fight. <laughs> oh, no, I learned to cry uh, a lot, uh, and then not tell my mom later about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, actually, I did. It's like a funny story, but uh, this is yeah. a this was a, a very interesting story. Yeah. Well, that was a t- a tiny story in the world of wrestling. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, uh, that, they're kind of juicy. Uh, we yeah. we did uh, Ricky Dozan, and uh, we done you know Bravo, and we done. La Parquita and Expetrito Dos. I yeah. think it said it good that time. Uh, all have ties to uh, it's crime syndicates in some way, or even if not that through rumor. Yeah. Um, we're going to get, we're now we're getting into the, we're, we're, I think we're past the halfway point now on our series of uh, wrestling slash That's true right. crime. And we're going to get into some juicier stuff. Juicy, juicy. Uh, unfortunately, like tales of like jealousy and, yeah, and, and or or just I, I don't know, just fits of rage. Yeah, yeah we're getting some some uh, some gritty some, some gritty shit. And uh, our next kitty. episode involves a another legend um, whose legacy was completely soiled by what they did in years, and there was like cover ups involved. But that you'll have to just listen to get to that episode next week. Hell yeah, man! But in the meantime. It's cool to be foolish. Hell yeah. That's another episode. I'm Marcus. I'm Dan. You take it easy. <laughs> <Fools>. <laughs>